Why? We are going to tell you a minute after the other what's going on there. But now I'm very much honored uh, to have with me Mr. Muhammad Atalla, member of uh, the Egyptian Federation of Golf, and I'm going to ask him if this was right. Is it? Is it, uh, gentlemen, only ladies forbidden? <laughs> I think that was a very, very, very long time ago. <laughs> But now ladies golf is uh, just as competitive and just as uh, just as popular as men's golf. We had, by the way, Farida and Thuraya, some of the teens who were playing yeah. football. And they were great. They were participating in uh, the Arab um, uh, Championship, which was held in Tunisia last year. They did great among other uh, other teams, of course, sure. about, uh, among others in the Egyptian team. But let me first be that frank. And um, we all know, or at least assume, Golf is the sport of the elite, of uh, a special class, and it will never, never be that popular, for instance, like football, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like things what uh, I was talking about now. But I think it's gaining more popularity a day after the other in Egypt, if you see this. Definitely. Um, I definitely see it amongst the uh, younger generation, mm -hmm. which is something that we concentrate on in uh, a lot of the things that we do. Uh, from five years and above, now we ha we've got hundreds of kids on driving ranges around the country. Uh, kids? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Kids playing golf and learning how to play golf. I was just, I was just at the golf club this morning mm -hmm. and uh, one of the pros was giving a lesson to a four-year-old. Wow. And he was doing very well, actually. <laughs> So yeah, golf. What kind of club should a four-year-old? Very begin? small, but very small, <laughs> very sure, small. Very but they sure do make golf like yeah. clubs for uh, juniors, obviously. I mean, uh, obviously, the juniors is the way to go. Mm -hmm. Golf, as you've just said, is not a hugely um, popularized sport in Egypt. But um, we at the Egyptian Golf Federation are working very, very hard to change that. Mm -hmm. Our junior teams are making us very proud. Recently in Tunisia, previously here in Egypt in, in 2013 for the Pan-Arab Championships, mm -hmm. the juniors are playing very, very well. Mm -hmm. uh, hopefully we'll come out with a, with, a, with a great champion very, very soon. Yeah. Uh, but we're, we're here for the long term, I think. Great you, champion? Sorry? Great champion? Great champions, hopefully. Who? Ah, well, they're, that, they're, they're still to be named. There's so many of them at the moment. Mm -hmm. But um, hopefully, they, you know, as, they, as they progress, and we've got kids that are, are at college stage now and, and going yeah. to college in, in the States. to. Mr. Atala, why? I feel that there's something genetic in this. When we have Isa, we do have Amr. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I mean, um, you want to look at it ge genetically. It's not genetics as much as it's passed on from generation to generation, I uh -huh. think. But I think... A lot of the uh, a lot of the kids, their parents don't actually play golf. Play golf at the moment, uh, so you know the kids I'm have got involved in golf. Sorry, because yeah. whenever you are, you find a photo for Messi or for Iniesta or for whoever sure. uh, in in any of uh, the kids' rooms, this is normal or sure. acceptable. But when you find a photo for Rory McIlroy, for uh, for Tiger Woods, for you know. It's a little bit strange. But they also golf. I mean, golf is 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 is, an, is, is a is a super sport. It's uh -huh. a it's top level sport. I mean, golf can be said in the same breath as football, tennis. Um, so it's in it's in that same bracket of category. The sportsmen, the superstars of golf, are uh, are, are in the same uh, bracket as Messi and and Andy Murray and mm -hmm. uh, and all these great great household names. So yeah, I'm not surprised that you know the kids have got um, pictures of Rory, especially and definitely Rory. Tiger Woods, Tiger Woods. Uh, on their uh, you know in their be on their bedroom walls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, back to Egypt a little bit sure. and um, uh, speaking about Egypt among the Arab uh, nations and about the pan-Arab games about uh, the Arab uh, tournaments which took place uh, here in Egypt and about what's going to happen tomorrow do you think that the Arab nations uh, are moving forward in the world of golf I mean we can compete internationally and have a special position well definitely I think we, 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 we can Address that in, in many in, in many different directions. Mm -hmm. uh, one on the amateur level and on the grassroots level, which is the uh, the juniors that we've we've spoken about. Mm -hmm. On the second on the second level, um, uh, uh, Egypt and other countries have taken on big international tournaments, inviting the superstars that we've just spoken about mm -hmm. uh, to to uh, their countries to promote golf in the country to promote the, the, the game internationally and to make people aware of Egypt especially as a, a great golfing country. I mean we have a history in golf of over 150 years now so um, mm -hmm. 
We are an old golfing nation. We have the oldest golf course in Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, in the Middle East, in general. Yeah, 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 yep. yeah definitely. Mm. Uh, so we have a great um, golf tradition. Uh, but we're looking to expand to to the greater population and to to more and more people and get them more interested in a sport that really teaches you know people a lot about sp sportsmanship about. Uh, we are going to talk about yeah. the lessons we can uh, have or we can learn from uh, golf. But as far as I know, that you are responsible for the international championships here in Egypt sure, sure. and uh, to hold those uh, championships. Uh, Is it? difficult or do you find any obstacles on the way to convince golfers from the whole world to come to Egypt and to participate in this? Obviously we've had our challenges, everybody's had uh, challenges over the, the last two or three years maybe, but um, I think that um, that Egypt when we, we've just recently had some tournaments, uh, some professional golf tournaments in, in Ain mm -hmm. and uh, they've been received very, very well by the international golf community. Uh, the expansion of the game, the, uh, the, host, uh, the, the ability to host tournaments on our world class golf courses. And do we have enough golf courses? Yeah, we have over 10 or 11 world class golf courses. I mean, by the, the the Royal and Ancient, which is the governing body for the sport in, uh, worldwide, mm -hmm. uh, Egypt is one of the top five undiscovered golf destinations worldwide. Mm -hmm. So this is something that we're working towards promoting the Ministry of Tourism and uh, the, uh, the they are really supportive of this of, was my of coming our, question. Yeah, sure. Um, sports and tourism. Sure. We do have this tennis in Sharm el Sheikh squash in Hergada. Should we have an Egyptian capital for golf? We do. We're beginning to. Uh, you have the mic. Yeah, <laughs> we're uh, we we as I've just said, we've hosted uh, uh, many tournaments. We were previously in 2000, 2009, 2010. I mean, they're all in Cairo. Uh, no, I, as I just said, we've just Ain had Sokhna. four tournaments in uh, Ain Sokhna. Mm -hmm. uh, the last one is, is, is this coming week. Mm -hmm. um, we, we've received very great um, uh, feedback from, from the professionals that have come, from the tours that have, uh, that have, uh, that have come over and, and, and participate in competitions here. Mm -hmm. This has helped our, uh, our younger generation uh, be exposed to top level professionals and, and get them more, you know, uh, competitive in the game it's given them a chance to compete at the top level and slowly but surely we're getting we're getting there in terms of hosting some great big tournaments and many more to come i hope you are free to talk that frank answering this question okay please security right okay bearing taking into consideration that we are living in a war against terrorism sure and this was the core of my question, to be uh, more frank even. Um, when you are talking to foreigners, to uh, professionals coming from all over the world and asking them to come and to participate and to enjoy their hobby here in Egypt, do you find some questions regarding security and if we're going to be that safe, are you able to secure our presence, things like that? Well, obviously, I mean, we, 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 you've just said we have to be frank, but obviously we, we do have the tours that we discuss uh, tournaments with, the or the or the governing bodies internationally that we discuss with, they obviously have their security concerns. But when they do come over, and they have done over the last two years uh, since uh, since the revolution, um, they've experienced great safety, uh, great security. Uh, the locations that um, that we've chosen for them to participate in are safe, and I think the country slowly but surely is settling down. And I think we we need to take advantage of that. Mm -hmm. and move forward because obviously golf and golf tourism will create a very good very stable economy going forward a tourism economy which we we can't doubt it and from that we create jobs and from that we create more and more people as you said to become uh, for the for the boundaries of golf to be broken down that it isn't elitist mm -hmm. uh, as elitist as as you uh, as as people think it might mm -hmm. be so through golf and, and tourism especially, then the whole country can get involved in building this sport. And, and, and the way uh, so many people to now are thinking about golf all, uh, hours 
or only as a place where businessmen are making deals. Yeah, that's that's. I think that's the Egyptian <laughs> movies. To be honest with you, um, uh, yeah, definitely. I when I watch Egyptian movies, they definitely they are. Uh, this is this is the scene that you see. But no, go, I mean, golf worldwide now is uh, all this. Um, this this barrier to entry, if you want to call it, is broken down quite a lot. I mean, the the federation are offering great programs at very, I mean, very you know affordable uh, uh, expenses to parents, mm -hmm. obviously, uh, to get kids involved in in golf and and grow the game. The game's obviously. Uh, nothing in this country is cheap, I think, but uh, but at the same time, uh, and above I all, I listened even from the Scorellos, the sure, uh, th this family that it's a kind of a psychic therapy whenever you are feeling that stressed, uh, whenever sure. you are feeling that having something in mind, and you are in this course uh, in front of the greenery, walking, just taking f uh, out of your mind everything which is annoying you. This can be a kind of um being feeling satisfaction that tomorrow is another day absolutely i mean we, we were going to touch on the the things that golf teach you uh -huh. uh, golf definitely teaches you patience mm -hmm. teaches you humility mm -hmm. because uh, one one great shot is sometimes followed very by a bad shot so it, it mm -hmm. teaches you to stay within your zone mm -hmm. uh,